This is the solution to written homework 82. So, because, because this is saying at the end, what is the balance at the end? This is saying that what's being requested is a future value. A future value, so it must be the uh, future value formula that we want. <clears throat> so we're going to use the formula S is equal to R uh, multiplied by 1 plus I N minus 1 divide by i, and uh, we're in using this, we're going to use uh, r, the recurring payment is 1326 every month, uh, the interest i is 0 0.08, but that's annual interest and then so we'll have to divide by 12 so 0 0.08 divided by 12 is equal to 0, 0.00 and then 6, 6 repeating and then n is 10 years but this is 10 years multiplied by 12 months per year so that's 120 Okay, so then plugging all this, plugging all this in, we obtain that S is so one three two six multiplied by one point zero zero six 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 six. I'll do seven sixes uh, to exponent one hundred twenty minus one divided by 0 0.00, that's six sixes, okay, so then uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So typing that in. So that is uh, 242,586.33. So just as a quick check, does this seem like a reasonable uh, value to me? Well, we made 120 payments of size 1326. So just doing 120 times 1326, that gives 160,000. And then does that seem like a reasonable amount of interest? Well, 8% interest, yeah, that seems, that seems reasonable over the course of 10 years. Okay, so now Again, because it says 50,000 at the end, this is telling us that we're talking about a future value. So as a result, we're going to use that same formula written above Uh, except in this case, we're going to use that S is 50,000. That's the value we want to have. R, this is what we're supposed to find, because it says what payment must you make every month. Uh, I 
is equal to 0 0.06 over 12, which should, should be 5. Yeah, so that's 0 0.005. And then N, because it says every month, uh, that would be 15 years times 12 months per year, which is 180. Okay, so as a result, we have the equation 50,000 is R, which is the unknown, multiplied by 1.005 to exponent 180 minus 1, divide by uh, 0 0.005. So 50,000 is the unknown R multiplied by 0.1. So that's 290.818. Seven, one, two, four. So we can solve for R by dividing fifty thousand by that number. And rounding to the nearest cent, that's one hundred seventy one point ninety three. So, uh, in order to have that much money, we need to put, we need to uh, deposit 171.93 every month.